September 10th, St. Nicholas of Tolentino, Confessor. This patron of the Universal Church was born in the year 1245 in answer to the prayer of a holy mother and was vowed before his birth to the service of God. His parents had made a pilgrimage across Italy to visit the shrine of St. Nicholas of Meyer and ask his intercession to obtain a child. The infant granted them was given the same name in his honor. St. Nicholas of Tolentino never lost his baptismal innocence. His austerities as a very young religious were conspicuous even in the austere order to which he belonged, the hermits of St. Augustine. To the remonstrances of his superiors he only replied, How can I be said to fast while every morning at the altar I receive my God? The demons undertook a war against his spirit of prayer, going so far as to beat him and to leave him inert on the floor but they could not separate his soul from our Lord. He did, however, remain lame for life. He conceived an ardent charity for the holy souls in purgatory, so near and yet so far from their Savior. Often, after his Mass, it was revealed to him that the souls for whom he had offered the holy sacrifice had been admitted to the presence of God. St. Nicholas frequently went out of his monastery to beg for aid to the poor. He visited prisoners and the dying to administer the last sacraments. And this great saint resurrected over 100 children, on one occasion bringing back to life several who had been under water for several days. During an illness he was ordered to eat meat by a physician, which he had made a vow never to do. A plate containing a well-prepared fowl was brought to him, in the presence of several witnesses, he made the sign of the cross over it, and the bird flew away out of the window. During the year preceding his death, a star always appeared over the altar where he said his mass. Afterward, it would conduct him to his cell or lead him back again later to the altar. Amid his loving labors for God and man, he was haunted by the thoughts of his own unworthiness. The heavens, said he, are not pure in the sight of him who I serve. How then shall I, a sinful man, stand before him? One day, as he pondered on the greatness of God and his own nothingness, Mary, queen of all saints, appeared before him. Fear not, Nicholas, she said. All is well with you. My son bears you in his heart, and I am your protection. Then his soul was at rest. At the hour of his death, which occurred on September 10th in the year 1310, he heard, it is said, the songs which the angels sing in the presence of their Lord. He died and was buried in the chapel where he was accustomed to offer holy mass and say his prayers. He was canonized in the year 1446 by Pope Eugene IV. Three hundred and one miracles were recognized during the process. His tomb has become renowned by many more, despite the fact that his relics have been lost, save for two arms, from which blood still exudes when the church is menaced by a great danger. This occurred, for example, when the island of Cyprus was taken over by infidels in the year 1570. The religious of St. Augustine continued to maintain the service of the large basilica of St. Nicholas in Tolentino. St. Nicholas of Tolentino, like St. Joseph, virginal father of Jesus, has been declared a patron of the Universal Church.